Schools will be reopening four weeks from tomorrow in what will certainly be the most uncertain school year ever. Premier Doug Ford again says Ontario has the best plan in the country, but can't guarantee children will not get sick. I'm confident, but to say I'm confident no one's going to catch the virus is just not realistic with 2 million people going back into the system, 160,000 teachers. Uh, but I do believe we have the best plan in the entire country. The plan includes mandatory masks for students in grades 4 to 12, more cleaning, and 500 public health nurses in schools. You know, I think our plan is premised on ensuring that we put every single uh, protocol in place to de risk the circumstance. But what the government's plan does not include is strict measures to ensure children in kindergarten to grade 8 can maintain adequate distancing. High school students in GTA schools will be in cohorts of 15, but there are no caps on class sizes in the younger grades, just board-wide averages of 24.5, so they could be higher or lower. Where to put children to lower class sizes is a key issue. Smaller classes or classrooms, including myself, I, I fully understand. Uh, but there's always the requirement. I'm, I'm not going to be putting kids in strip malls or industrial buildings, that, that's for sure. School boards are now scrambling to figure out how to keep younger children socially distant. The Toronto District School Board will start a telephone survey tomorrow to see how many parents will actually send their children to class in September. Does the board have any sense at all of how many people are going to keep their children home? No. I mean, it's anecdotal. You can't know until yeah, that's why we have to do this. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we are, it's a shot in the dark. We don't know. So, if you look at last year's numbers and if ever, everybody sent their children to school again, do you know how many classrooms would be crowded to the point where you couldn't have one or two meters distance? No, I don't know that. I don't know that right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very hard to say because, you know, classrooms are a different size in every school. The Liberals are calling for the start of the school year to be postponed. The NDP's education critic stood at Queen's Park with the mother and teacher who started a petition calling for smaller class sizes. That petition now has around 200,000 signatures. We have Premier Ford and Minister Lecce insisting that our current plan looks to the advice of our experts, such as the experts at Sick Kids. Well, in fact, the experts at Sick Kids, in their most recent report on reopening schools, stressed as a priority recommendation that we must reduce class sizes for a safe return to school. Not only does the TDSB not know how many students will go back to school in the fall, they don't know how many teachers will return to classrooms either. After it finishes its parent survey, it's going to survey teachers as well. With less than a month before school is set to begin, there is still so much that needs to be worked out.